Yeah, you're running. <laughs> okay, so we've grabbed a couple of seconds here with Mike Evans and Kyle Tredgett who work on the shell fuels and uh, lubricants. Formula One team with Ferrari and I've got some questions that some of you have put through uh, to my website after the last piece I posted when I went up to the research laboratory in Cheshire and uh, one of the questions is uh, did Shell say if the current regulations are conducive to the development of current road car biofuels? Cara, are they? Yeah, I think in Shell we absolutely think that they are. You may be aware that the FIA actually introduced a biomandate um, into the fuel specification a couple of years ago. And I think that's given us the opportunity to really trial a number of um, biofuel technologies in, in the current um, Shell V-Power fuel that we supply to Ferrari. So, for example, in 2010, we introduced the first biohydrocarbon fuel. So, yeah, yes. So it's getting greener? Yes. It's good to know. Yes. Now, Mike, I've got a very interesting question here. I don't know if you can answer this, but it's, it's about the torque and what's the maximum torque the engines produce? And is the fuel, uh, do you work to test the torque or the power? The, I mean, the engine spends a lot of its life up towards the top end of the rev range. So we are optimising the fuel to give the best performance at that part of the engine. I mean, the max torque is probably quite a bit lower down the engine uh, rev range, so it's not really where the drivers will spend most of the time. So we are working with the team to make sure the fuels perform at the best where the driver needs it. Okay, thank you for that. Now here's a really interesting one. This is, this is, I'm interested to answer this one myself. Uh, I assumed all F1 fuel was fixed and that was the same for everybody. Well, that, we know that's not the case. No, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> but how can the FIA be sure that what's made as agreed uh, with the manufacturer is what actually arrives at the track? I think that's a really, really good question. So when we develop a fuel for Ferrari and they decide that they want to introduce it at a Grand Prix, um, we have to pre-approve it with the FIA so we have to send about five litres to the FIA and they do a number of tests on it to check that it's within the specification um, specifically a technique called gas chromatography or GC which is like taking a fingerprint of the fuel and then at any point over the race weekend the FIA can come and take a sample it's a bit like drugs testing and they can do that before the race after the race when it's been scrutineered and if you finish high up in the you know in the first second or third you're highly likely that a fuel sample will be taken and scrutinized so they can come at any point they have a track club as well at the at the races and they use that gc technology to check that whatever fuel we've given them matches what we said we said we would supply for that race so it's like a kind of dna exactly yes, exactly yeah. but you can evolve the fuel as the year goes on oh, yeah. right? put new additives in yeah well yeah. every time we change the fuel formulation or even a new batch, batch of the same yeah. fuel right. recipe we have to have the fuel approved and then the fia do the fingerprint test on it and have that sort of at the races so we have to let the fia know really which fuels we're going to send to the races yeah. as well Okay, last question then. This is from actually someone who's studying chemistry, and he wants to know. He wants to know how do you keep the inside of the engines clean? Have you got any kind of products that you stick into the fuel? Yes. That, that yeah. Presumably that's like a friction reduction thing. Well, the, the, I mean, Shell. Is, it's a very, very important part of the work that we do at Thornton, and as you will have seen, we do a, a lot of effort into making sure that the fuels we supply to the, the, the normal customer, the Shell V Power fuel particularly, uh, contains an active cleaning agent in there that keeps the valves and the whole of the engine clean. And we use the same technology in the um, Formula 1 fuels as well. So um, that we, we share the technologies, transfer the learnings across. And obviously the friction modification technology that you heard about at Thornton, we use it in the Ferrari fuel and the same Shell V-Power fuel that we, uh, people can buy all around the UK and around the world. Thank you very much. Well, thanks for taking the time, Mike and Cara. And, uh, well, if you've got any questions, send them in. And when I get an opportunity to ask the people who really know, I'll put it to them. Okay?